Hello everybody, welcome back. Brent here from GBMC Gaming. This is episode 35 of our Technic Let's Play. And uh, today I found squids! Hooray! They finally spawned. As you can see, there's nothing but squids in this ocean now just because I turned the limits up like crazy. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. Um, good uh, good news there. Today we're going to be getting into uh, some research with Bombcraft and possibly some more stuff. I'm not really sure yet. Depends on how things go. There's some ink sacks. We just need a couple. Two is fine for me. Thank you very much, squids. Let's turn the spawn limits back to what they were, since we kind of messed them up last episode. Water mobs. Um, shark frequency was at like two, three. Fishy, it's ten. Rays, five, I guess, for now. And jellyfish, five, I guess. That's fine. There we go. And then, whoops, what am I doing? Villain mobs. Let's turn this down. To like five. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't do that. Uh, change vanilla spawns. What's that? Uh, whatever. Okie dokie. Spawn limits. Let's turn this way the hell down. Cause I kind of put it up a little high. Uh, fifty's good for me. There we go. Much better. So everything's back to normal for the most part, I believe. Uh, and uh, let's go check on this tainted place. Eh, from a distance is fine. Not too much of a spreading. Might be able to see like a block or two spread. Yeah, you see some right up there spreading there a second ago. Yeah, not too quickly though, which is great. Um, we'll have to get that under control eventually. <laughs> you watch, it'll be that whole area. Hopefully not. So, right, we have our ink sack, and now what we need is the glass bottle and the gold. We do have the stone, don't we? No, we don't. Okay. Let's go get some, then. Down we go. I love not being able to, or not taking any fall damage. It's great. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's smelting. That's what I'm doing. There we go. There's three, and now we need three gold. We have ore in, some ore in here. Let's macerate it and then cook it up. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Awesome. More than enough. There we go. And, uh, sorry, the wind is blowing and it's making a creepy, scary sound with my door um, on my room. One, two, three. Come on now. There we go. Let's make these glass bottles up. We only need one, but we'll make three anyways, just because we can't make one. And then take one with us. Toss that, and that. Cool. So now we have the resources we need to make our quantinium thing. Quant quantis... Quasitum. 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 Quasitum? Quasitum, I think. Oh well. Um, and now we can make it, so I think that goes there. That goes there. That goes there, and then the gold in the middle. Voila! There's the quant the quantum. <laughs> I, ke I keep wanting to say quantinium for some reason. Don't know why. But let's go ahead and go over here and put uh, place this in our Thomcraft room. Why is there a bear in the middle of the ocean? He must have chased a dolphin or a shark or something into the water. Beats me. What's that noise? I think somebody's whippersnipping outside. <laughs> okay, so let's place that right there. That's a good enough spot. And then we're going to place this guy right there. Cool. So when we right-click this thing, it has a neat little interface, and it's a lot to it. So uh, uh, I'll try and explain it here in a minute, but we need some... Uh, eh, let's just use dirt. So basically what you do is you place your dirt or your any item that you want to research, and you'll place it right there. Okay, so what you're going to do is actually look at these items here there's a 75 percent chance of loss and that means that uh, there's a 75 percent chance that when this thing researches that it'll completely lose the item the item will be destroyed and uh, this one there's a zero percent chance of failure and a one percent chance of success and don't worry about the failure right now i'll get into that later on but the success you have a one percent chance of getting a theory and theories if we look them up here in uh, in any high theory. There's a lot of them here, and these are all the trivial ones. You have to discover all the other ones. There's a lot of 
theories, believe me. But, uh, like I was saying, I think that's all of them. I don't even know if that's all of them or if there's more than that. We'll find out eventually, I guess. So, if you get that 1% chance of success with this piece of dirt, you will get a theory and it'll appear right there. Now, I'm definitely not an expert with this kind of stuff, so uh, don't hold me to all of the uh, stuff that I'm saying here. But uh, also, in these two slots here, you can boost the chance of success with either item. So we can place a, uh, a Vaporous or a Vis Ore right here, and now our chance of success is 16, and chance of loss is still 75. But that'll just boost up the, uh, the chances, and I think that those things aren't lost until you actually get a success. I'm not sure about that, but uh, it's possible. It'll boost up to 7, but... The reason I'm putting dirt in here is because it still has a 1% chance of success and it's so easy to get, especially with uh, too many items, or sorry, not too many items, uh, with um, um, EMC and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to turn this thing on, to be honest. <laughs> uh, maybe it needs Vs? That's possible. I just heard a donkey, I think. Or am I just crazy? Is that a donkey? Yeah, there's a donkey. Okay, cool thought I heard one, but I can never be sure nowadays. So let's dra just trail one of these things over here. No? Okay. Um, how do you turn this thing on? I'm totally lost as to what you have to do here. Maybe you need an artifact? Let's go get an artifact. Artifacts are just, uh, I think they just have like a higher success rate and uh, all that good stuff. So let's go grab one, see what we can do with it. Or maybe it needs to be powered with something else. I'll have to look up what it does so I don't uh, feed you guys too much false information. Uh, where's my items? There it is, over here. In the crystal's chest. Let's get a... Uh, uncommon? Let's get a common. Ancient pottery. That's good enough for now. It's getting dark out, but that's no big deal. We can fend off all the enemies we need to. We also should make our armor again, because we didn't take it with us from the last world, but it wasn't too hard to make anyways, so... Anyways, yes, so let's get our artifact in here somewhere. Does this just boot, boost the chance of uh, success? Yeah. Can you place that there? Doesn't do anything? No? Okay. This thing has a 10% chance. Okay. How do you turn it on? I'm assuming you need Vs, but I'm probably wrong about that. Maybe need a crystal or something? I don't even know. Let me go look it up and I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright, so I need paper. I'm an idiot. I totally forgot. You put paper there or there. I don't know. I forget. And uh, that's how you research things. So, shut up, Wisp. Uh, we have a lot of reeds, as you can see over here. And I do have some that are already harvested. If I didn't throw them in the... Uh, in the... This thing. The table. The transmutation table. Already? I don't think I did, though. I think they're right here. Car, holy smokes, you're loud. Go away. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a bunch of paper. You're going to need a lot of it, so... Oops, wrong way. There we go. There's a decent amount. There we go. One thing left over. 45 paper is more than enough to demonstrate what I'm going to be doing here. Let's grab a bunch more dirt. Just because it's easy to get, and uh, don't really need it. Should be using cobblestone, but who cares? Oh, look at that. Flame ogres. How pleasant. Those things are nasty, so don't go near them. Uh, they actually set things on fire. And Is that a unicorn? No? Okay. You can actually see unicorns and pegasuses and stuff like that. Or pegasi, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so, put the paper right up there, I believe. And there you go. See, it's going to make this progress. And uh, a bit of a sound, if you can hear that. And as you can see, the dirt was destroyed. And we have a 1% chance that it'll work. And a 75% chance that it'll lose it. So it'll continuously go and go and go, and you will use your paper up. Uh, I'm not really sure how many, uh, how much one paper can last, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, like 5 or so. I'm not entirely sure. I just kind of came up with a number in my head there. I'm hoping to get something, but you have a really, really low chance. And what you're supposed to do normally is actually put like a uh, a bunch of bookshelves, just like an enchanting table, table, and uh, that'll actually boost the chance for success and uh, keep the lost chance at the same. But 
yeah, it'll boost your chances for success. And you can also use brains in a jar, but we won't be getting into that until we actually have a couple items that we need to research. So, uh, yeah, we have to find those items first. Oh, excuse me. So I don't think we're going to get lucky right now. <laughs> but we'll come back later and see what we can do with that. But for now, I think we're going to do something different here. Maybe something with uh, industrial craft or build craft. I don't know. <clears throat> But I guess I'll think of it and get back to you guys when I think of something. So I'm thinking about making a quarry, actually, because uh, we have the diamonds for it. I mean, might as well get into that kind of stuff. So uh, maybe even a sorting machine or something. I'm not entirely sure. We have to get organized. I'm not really organized at the moment, and I'd like to be. So uh, maybe we will make some improvements to our area. Maybe move our farms around a bit. Maybe make them automatic. Um just kind of spitballing here, but maybe do that idea I had for this place, or maybe that idea that I had for that place. Um, really, skeleton right outside the door. And he's going inside. Of course he is. <laughs> what a surprise. Um, so is it almost day? No, not even close. Oh, man, I keep yawning, I'm sorry. <sighs> but I'm just very tired. Dude, what do you want my roof for? There we go. So, I'm thinking about making a quarry or some sort of EMC generation. And I also want to make a better storage place. Um, I don't think this place is going to have very many uses, this house here. Uh, it was mainly just temporary and I wanted to make something nice. And I made this on a server before, so I think it looks nice. So, what I'm going to do now is actually make a better building for storage. And hopefully be able to make some sort of sorting machine within the next couple episodes. Because getting that up and running early on will definitely help with organization big time. Man, why are there so many enemies around? Especially creepers. Goodness. Oh well. So, I guess I'm going to work on that. I'll get all the resources I need. I'll make all of the red power stuff on screen. But I'll at least get the resources I need to make them on uh, off screen. So, I'll see you guys when I have some stuff finished. All right, guys. I'm just gonna make a test world here. Um, I have, I don't have one on this, uh, on this install. So let's just call it uh, test world. Oops, world flat. There we go. I'll make it on survival since we have NEI. Um, we'll make it a super flat world. Generate structures off, and uh, obviously leave the seed and create the world. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually test a couple things out with Thomcraft. And what I want to test is if Buildcraft pipes work with the Quantisium thing. So let's get the Quantisium. Actually, let's turn to cheat mode here. Um, I guess I'll take you guys along with this little test. Why not? Um, so there's our Quantisium. Even the in inventory screen looks pretty cool. Um... And now we need some pipes, so let's get just type in pipe. Oops, wrong ones. I don't need satellite logistics pipes. Uh, ooh, cobblestone transport pipe? Sure, why not? And place them there. So it does connect, but it might just be visual. Um, let's get some engines here. Engine. Engine. There we go. Some redstone engines are fine. And uh, we'll make a chest as well. Chest. A couple chests, of course. <laughs> and now we're going to place... Ah, wait, we need more pipes. Wooden transport pipes. There we go. Now we need redstone, and, or redstone torches. There we go. Oops. Torch misplace. There we go. So that's extracting items, and hopefully, I want to see if the top slot does anything, the side slots, bottom slots, etc. So let's go ahead and get, uh, let's just use red wool for now. It's fine. It's good enough. That'll go through the pipes very slowly. Um. Oh, excuse me. Listen to some Minecraft music while we test our little items here. Um, I don't think it will actually react very well with this, but I'm hoping. I have high hopes for this thing. Mm. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that. That's the paper slot. Perfect. So the top goes for paper. And uh, let's just turn this off for now. Alright. So top is paper. Keep that in mind. And now let's go to the side. Let's see what that does. Gotta wait yet again. I shouldn't actually break the pipes. Might as well just catch all the stuff that pops out. Wisps. Slimes. Vomic slimes. Got everything around here. It's awesome. Go away. Thank you. So this goes into that area there. Okay. Strange. I don't know what that does, actually. I think that's just another storage spot for paper. Ow, get away from me, dude. Dude, go away. Please. Thank you. Right, so I think that's just another area to store a bunch of paper, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um... Or maybe it's where the uh, the research goes. Do go away. Like where you're, uh, or if you do find the theory, maybe that goes there. Okay, so that is that area. Top is that, and I'm assuming bottom will be this. So let's uh, test it out, I suppose. And just break that. And oh, dude, go away. And oh my God, there's so many enemies around. It's unbelievable. Thank you. And the bottom. Boom. Let's see what happens here. I might put it on peaceful for now. <laughs> Just because there's so many enemies. Yeah, let's put it on peaceful. Oops. There we go. Perfect. So, I just thought I'd bring you guys along on this little test, just so I don't, uh, just for the funsies of it, you know. If you guys don't mind me doing that. And the bottom slot goes into there, as exactly as I thought. So what we can do, using logistics pipes and other things like that, we can actually have a constant supply of, say, cobblestone here, and uh, then paper in here. And then we can extract things from the side, being uh, all of the research that we find. So that's good. This does, It does cooperate with Buildcraft, and we can keep that in mind for future projects. So... I guess we'll just pop right back into our regular world here. And I totally forgot what we were doing. Right, we are going to make a uh, storage room. That's what I decided we would do. So, uh, yeah, we're running out of dirt there, so let's put another stack in or so. And I wonder if that boosts the chance. It does. Let's do that then. There we go. I want to know if it takes... It does, okay. It does take from there for some reason. That's strange. Let's try it again, see what happens. Okay. Lost from both of them. Maybe it's a chance for losing it from different slots or something. Yeah. Oh well. 3% chance. Hopefully we get something. And I'm kind of still curious as to what goes here. And we're on... We're still on the same piece of paper, so I don't really know what happens with that. Maybe it... Uh, I'm not really sure what the paper does, to be honest. Maybe it doesn't get used up or something. I don't know. But either way, let's go find a good spot for the... Uh, storage room, I'm assuming I want to put it right there, but uh, that's kind of close to the obelisk and I don't want to be too close. Um, and I also felt, found out what the uh, Eldritch stuff is, and that's uh, something to do with the obelisk. So we'll get into that later when, when we actually can go inside the obelisk. Um, guys, I'm thinking about I want to, I'm thinking that I want to go underground. I don't know why I do, but I kind of do and don't at the same time. I do because it's uh, a lot easier to manage, and I don't because it just uh, doesn't look as good. I might put my storage room underground. That wouldn't be too bad, since we can just continuously expand on it and stuff. So I guess we'll do that. I guess we will put it just over here somewhere. Let's cut some trees down right in this area, right here. Or maybe we should put it closer. Um, you know what, let's just put a building right there and then just dig into the ground. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to get the resources I need and I'll be right back. Alright, so we have the resources we need, so I decided that we're going to put it right here. So, we're going to build it almost in the mountain, I guess you could say. Um, we're going to put it underground a little ways, though, because this will have to expand eventually. Um, I'm, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should make the, uh, the sorting system above the storage room or below. Um, I think it'd be easier to do it below, that way we have a lot of room to expand, and we are going to be using red power to do the sorting. I was thinking about doing it with diamond pipes, but it just takes way too many pipes, and just it's just a major headache. So we're gonna do it with, uh, excuse me, regular old 
red power sorting machines and all that good stuff. So we are going to need a couple new items to make all these machines, but we will get the uh, storage room at least sorted out before we uh, do any anything further. Uh, one more layer back? Yeah, one more. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, to be honest. I'm really just winging it. So, I guess we'll see how it turns out. I'm making the outside out of wood, and I might make the inside out of marble or something. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, we have lots of iron, so we will make iron chests. Uh, if my... Yeah, it is working, yeah. On Tech it, it wasn't working. The iron chests were looking really weird on the inside. Like, the inventory GUI wasn't there for some reason. Um... Also, I was watching a couple of YouTube videos, and people are calling, uh, like, that energy in Thomcraft Vis. They were calling it Vi uh, What was it called? Uh, Viz? Yeah, I think they are calling it Viz. I have no idea which one it is, so I'm just going to call it Vis. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, let's make a floor. Going to need another shovel, of course. There it goes. All right. I'm going to go make another shovel. Hold on. Alright, here's my shovel, so I was going to talk about something there, but I totally forget what it was. Oh well, it'll come back to me if it's that important. Um, it won't be huge in the beginning, but we will have, uh, we'll try and leave it so you can expand it. And uh, I guess I'll kind of explain that as I go. But we are making it out of wood, so let's grab some of this. Make it all into planks, I suppose. Not really sure on the design yet. Oops. Need an axe too, so I can get rid of any misplaced blocks like that one there. I'll just break that one with my hand, I guess. Um, I don't know if I should do this on screen or off screen. I mean, I've you guys have seen me build chests and rooms for chests before, so it's not super special. It's nothing too important. Um, but the inside, when we actually do all the sorting mechanics and all that, we will. I will show you guys that in the how I build it and how I do it. It's not too easy. It takes a good amount of time, but with a bit of time and effort, it looks really good and works really good. So, Mr. Bear, you cannot build with me. I'm sorry. I'm glad they're friendly in daytime. Pretty cool. Yes, I suppose I should just cut out now. So, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and build the at least the exterior of this and maybe dun uh, tunnel down a ways and figure out how I'm going to make this. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, I'm just going over to check on the uh, research and see how it's doing. See if I got anything cool. Ah, look at that! We actually have something. A fragment of lost knowledge, research value 10. Perfect. So, I can now explain what uh, what you do with these fragments of something knowledge. You either get a lost knowledge, eldritch knowledge, I think, and... No, is it taint? There's tainted knowledge, lost knowledge, and... Uh, it might be eldritch knowledge or something knowledge. Something like that. Let's actually look it up. <laughs> Frag, oh, fragment, can't find, oh, there it is, fragment of Eldritch, yep, tainted, forbidden, and lost, okay, cool, so those are all the ones that you can get, lost, I think, is the lowest here, so what you do with this now is actually put it right there, I'm actually going to get rid of that for a minute, um, just tuck that out of there, so, you have uh, research value 10, and you have a chance, 25% chance that it will succeed, 0% failure, and uh, then you have 80% to lose it. Um, so that, that's not too bad, but I'd rather have a higher chance. So you can actually use melons and uh, like even flint, but melon does have a high EMC, and if we actually make a regular melon, which we need eight, don't we? Yes, or nine, sorry. Okay, let's get our crafting table out, or crafting square, and make one normal melon, actually two. Oops. Let's make a bunch of them. Why not? Make four. That's enough. That'll do just fine. And let's put them right there. That'll boost the success up to 29 rather than 25. That's a little bit more, but uh, it's not perfect. We have 80% chance of loss. Chances are, obviously, we will lose it and not succeed. But uh, we could actually even go get some diamonds. Let's go get a couple diamonds and see if we can... Uh, boost the chances up a little bit more. It's not very wise of using diamonds on such a low level uh, uh, fragment of knowledge, but um, you know, might as well. We have lots of diamonds to spare, so um, get out of here. Wait. Oh, my inventory. It's a 
mess right now. Alright, that's good enough. Let's get two diamonds. Yeah, two is enough. More than enough, actually. We could probably just use one, but we'll use two just to boost the chances up that much more. Hopefully we don't lose the diamonds. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. No idea. As you can see, I have a little bit of the house or the storage room done, but I just wanted to come and check out the uh, how the knowledge is doing. So let's get these melons out of there and put the diamonds in there, and the chance will go up to 33. It's not much of a difference, is there? What was it? It was 39, 29. Yeah, that's not even worth it. I don't think the chance of loss changes at all, does it? Nope. Okay, so that's a waste of diamonds. Let's not do that. Okay, so let's put this paper in here and see how we, uh, how it makes out. Fingers crossed. Come on. Give us something good. Give us a theory. Oh, there's a dog in here now. Ah, crap. We lost it. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. What we can do is actually put these in here instead, and you have a 4% uh, chance of success, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually gonna, just going to actually break these back and get my melons back. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Hello. Um, but yeah. Man, this guy really wants to push me around, doesn't he? I'll get all of the melons back, hopefully. No? Nope. Okay. Either way, it's good enough. I wonder how much one melon does. Chance of one. Not worth it. Let's just put a ton of cobblestone in here, since we have enough of it. And that'll give us 3% chance and 75 loss. So we're going to leave that to do its thing for now. And uh, what it does, actually, I figured out what the paper does. It's uh, every lost knowledge absorbed, or takes one paper, so you really won't get that much. If you have a stack of paper in there, you're fine. So where'd that dog go? I want a companion. Come here, boy. You're the one that was pushing me around, correct? Where's my bones? Damn it, I forgot my bones. Man, I'll get a wolf later. There's lots of them around here. What is that? Oh, it's a tiger. Dang, it's tiny. Anyways, so I haven't really done very much. I'm just uh, digging down a hole. I'm going to go down a little ways. I was actually digging out that way, but I hit a cave. So it's actually a cave that's very fairly close to where... Uh, where our house is, so I'm going to try and go down a little ways more just so we can actually uh, have some space to build. I might uh, expand this out a bit like that and all the way across. Let's get our Philosopher's Stone out, turn this all into stone. There we go. We have a lot of cobbles here. Just filling in the holes where there's dirt or gravel or anything like that. There we go. Alright, so now we can just keep on building, and I'll meet you guys back here when I am, well, when I have some progress finished, so I'll see you then. Okay, everybody, so we have another fragment of Lost Knowledge. I just came back here, and we did get one, so I'm going to put that right there, and there's a 25% chance. Uh, what if I put a Vs Crystal in there? 27? No thanks. 25, um, what can I boost it up with? Hmm, what about iron? 25 to a 27. You know what? Fine. That's good enough. 27. Nothing. Alright. Never mind. Didn't get anything. Uh, put some more cobble in here, I guess. Why not? Mm. Yeah, why not? Okay. So, nothing yet. So, I'll come back if we do get another thing. Hold on. We're going to keep on building. Okay, guys. I came back and I have five lost fragments of knowledge or fragments of lost knowledge. And we're only halfway done? Holy crap, we're lucky. That's actually decent. Out of 64 tries, we get 3% uh, on each one. That's pretty good to get five of them. We're only halfway, so that's awesome. I'll keep those there until this is completely finished, and I'll come back when uh, that's done. That dog just ran out of here. Maybe he put all those lost knowledges in there. <laughs> I promise you those are completely legit. They are not cheated in. I just came back, and I almost crapped myself. I was like, whoa, four, five of them are done. Um, but yeah, I am digging out this room still. I'm still kind of debating where, what kind of shape I'm going to have and where's every, where everything is going to go. I'm kind of getting a bit of an idea. Coming down a staircase here, and I hit a cave here. I, I'm out of inventory space, as you can tell. But uh, I'll have to... It's not too big of a cave. We'll probably just keep on going down and then just bypass it kind of thing. Uh, we did hit some marble, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, we will probably put the... Uh, storage room down that way, or maybe even to the left. I don't know yet. I'm still figuring it out, so give me a little while longer and I'll hopefully have it finished soon. Hold on. Okay guys, I've been working on the room a little bit more and I'm just gonna come in and check on this. 
Seven lost knowledge fragments. That is awesome. All right, let's research these. Hopefully we get some sort of theory. I'm really hoping we do. Let's see. Nope. All right. Ducky, you're an idiot. Uh, nope. <laughs> hey, thanks for the Vs. <laughs> oh, what a moron. Okay, hey, there we go. A theory. Arcane, arcane focus, air. Perfect. All right, there's our first theory, guys. Oh, another one. Seven legged, second league, the uh, seven league boots. Okay. Not bad. Easy, tricky. Okay. Cool. Uh, hurry up now. Two more. Come on, give me something good, please. All right, last one. Then I'll explain how these theories work. Hey, we got another one, and apparently it doesn't. You don't lose it. Quicksilver core. Okay. Okay, so you don't... Oh, that's sweet. I got the success and didn't get the loss. And again, I didn't I didn't lose it. Sweet. This one's a trooper. Okay, there we go. So we got three theories, guys. That's perfect. So we're gonna. what we're going to do now is actually take out the paper for now. Uh, what one are we going to do? Let's do the easy one for now. Okay, so when you put a theory in here... Wait, am I going to put a... Uh, sorry, I thought I was going to get an interruption here. So this is where the uh, failure thing comes into play. You have one, you have 60% chance of success, and you have a 6% chance of failure, and 100% loss chance. Now, don't worry about the loss chance, because you're always going to lose the theory once you're finished researching it. Now, the success, it uh, if you were to get that success, a little orb would appear right there. And if you were to get a failure, that orb would disappear. So if you got a success, another success, another one, then you got a failure, you just go revert back one. I don't think there's any way of losing the theory, like, completely. Uh, I'm not sure what happens when you get, like, if you say if you had two complete, and then you lose it, and then lose it again, if you go back down to zero, if you'll lose it or not. But I guess we can test that in the future if it uh, comes down to it. But for now, what we're going to do is put the paper in here and demonstrate that there's a 60% chance of success. You don't really have to boost it. It's just... Uh, time consuming. There you go. There's one orb, so we got a, su a success. And there's another one. I highly doubt we're going to get a failure. Like, there's really low chance. Um, sometimes you don't get anything, I don't think. that You might get uh, nothing sometimes. I'm not sure. And one more has to do it five times. Five successful uh, research things. Okay. That one didn't work. And voila. There we go. We got a discovery. An arcane focus. So... What you do with the discovery is basically you can uh, put it through a thomic infuser, I think. Or how do you? What do you do with this discovery? I totally forget. Uh, let's right-click it. Ah, there we go. So we just learned the uh, the. Uh, I can now make the arcane for focus air. So what we need to make it is um, an arcane focus, and also ten Vs. And I think you make it in the thalamic infuser and you also need a vaporous crystal okay i didn't see that there this arcane focus has medium range and spread but has improved speed okay cool i don't really know what the arcane focus does to be honest so i guess we'll uh, figure it out i'm pretty sure it has some something to do with the uh something like it's like a bore or something like that it's a big minor thing that comes with uh, thomcraft but we'll get into that later but yeah, so we just got our first discovery. That's pretty awesome. And we did not lose the uh, discovery itself, which is cool. Um, once we get four discoveries, we can make a book that shows us all of our discoveries in one. So that is pretty cool stuff right there. So we're going to put some more cobblestone in here. We're just going to put that. Um, let's put that in there, I guess. Meh, let's do that. Okay, hopefully we can get some more uh, uh, theories. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? Jeez. So let's go ahead and put this one in here. This one has a 23% chance of success and a 21% fail uh, chance of failure and of course 100% loss because you always lose the theory so this one will be a little more difficult and it doesn't seem like you'll lose the theory at all maybe you will maybe you won't maybe it just takes a while longer I'm not entirely sure what if you put that in there nothing 25 21 and 23, 21. Okay, maybe I shouldn't put that in there so I didn't break it. Or I don't break it. Oh, there we go. We got one up. Hopefully we can get some more. Come on, come on. What is this? The seven league boots? Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, good. It doesn't... You don't lose the point for it. That's good. 
Uh, I'll come back to this later. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on working on that place down there, so uh, I'll meet you guys when I'm finished. Or, of course, if I have something to update you on. <laughs> okay, guys, forgive me for the crows outside. They just won't shut up. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys that I want to change up the system a little bit just because uh, my induction furnace isn't actually getting enough power, so we're going to change this up just a tad so it's actually hooked up to my uh, bat box. So let's just go underneath here. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did in the old house, in the old world. Have the uh, the bat box face down and trail all of its power into there. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, all we have to do now is just go into the house itself and uh, change the direction the bat box is facing. This will actually make it look better too. So we actually need some logs. Let's just go cut this tree down. It's getting annoying to see it there anyway, so might as well. As you can see, I did make a sapphire axe, as well as a sapphire shovel, just because the uh, iron ones were kind of getting annoying, as they don't uh, cut stuff fast enough. So there we go. Now we have a nice area for the solar panel, <laughs> even though it's not very uh, adequate for a solar panel. It's just right outside my house. But now the induction furnace should be getting a little bit more power. Oh, wait, forgot to turn the thing. So shift click, and now it's getting power. There we go. So now it's going to build up power and speed. I'm just smelting some iron so I can actually start with the chests. Um, I have the room dug out that we are going to be putting the chests in, but I don't have the room dug out that we're going to use the, uh, or make the sorting room, sorting system in. So that's still to do. Um, we're going to macerate the rest of this iron up. Might as well. We are also going to make a uh, macerating and... Uh, uh, cooking setup like we had in the last world, but this one will be much better as it will use induction furnaces and ma uh, rotary macerators. So I'm gonna check on the thingy here, and there we go. Discovery seven league boots, perfect. So what we're gonna do is just just read this. There we go. So you need boots of striding, okay. You need a feather and one vaporous crystal and 75 vs. V's, V's, whatever. These boots allow the wearer to make impressive leaps and bounds. Holding shift while jumping reduces the jump height. Okay. Uh, I'd like that. I'm going to go ahead and make those. How do you make that? Um, I wonder if I can... Boots of striding. So... Stride. There we go. And it is in the thomic infuser, one earthen crystal, a pair of leather boots, and a feather. You know what? Let's go do that now. Why not? Make our first item. Uh, we need a feather, a thomic, or in the thomic infuser, we need a feather, a earthen crystal, and a pair of leather boots. So do we have leather? Do we have any leather? Mm, no, we do not. Okay, let's go cow hunting then. Just, come on now. For a little while anyways, until we find a cow. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And once we get these boots, we will continue on with the storage room. I just want to at least make one artifact. Or one, sorry, one new item, I guess you could call it. I don't really, really know what they're called, to be honest. Um, I don't see any cows. Hmm. Maybe I'll cut out until I find a cow or two. Maybe I'll check the mountain biome. Yeah, I guess I'll cut out until I find one. Hold on. Okay, I found a couple cows. One, two, three, four, five... Five cows? Six cows. There's one right there. Six cows as well as a volcano. And the house is just over that way. There's the mountain biome there. And, uh, yeah, so that's some basalt for us. It's pretty cool. Um... So I kind of want to kill these cows, but at the same time I want to keep them. You know, what, I'll just kill. I'll kill a couple of them, but I'll keep a couple as well. Come here, you. Thank you. There we go. One of each item. Perfect. So at least we can uh, teach our transmutation table about them. That's good. Yeah, those are the only cows I saw all around, and I'm surprised with that one. Maybe me s messing with the spawning was uh, has something to do with that. It's very possible. So. You can see all the V's crystals underground. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's go teach our transmutation table about this. There's the steak, and or the beef, sorry, and the leather. Cool. 
So let's go ahead and turn a couple of items into leather. Let's get... How much leather do we need? We need four. There we go. Perfect. So let's go to our crafting table here. There's the boots. Now we need another feather. Right there. And we need an earthen crystal. Earthen? I think so. I guess we'll find out. Let's go over to the uh, Thomic. Well, let's actually just check here. Yes, okay, cool. Let's go to the Thomic Infuser here. And make these boots. And then we'll actually be able to make the other pair of boots, but we might do that later. Alright, here we are. And Thomic Infuser. Uh, so, boots, feather, and earthen crystal. And we need V's. Forgot about that. Alright. Um, let's actually just do this. And maybe we should move this a little closer. Like right there. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's get the items out of there. What was that? Okay. So let's break this. Whoa. Oh, right. My pickaxe is on. I think long shot mode or something. Whatever. Turn this down a ways. And place our Thomic Infuser right there. So what we can do now is get our our conduits here. Um, I think that's the closest we can get it, so that's fine. Maybe we should put it over here or something. Maybe right there? I don't know. That'll do for now. Let's just toss a couple items in here. Oops. There we go. And that's going all the way over there. Oops. Bad idea. Okay, let's get rid of this then. And then toss a couple more items in there. How about a bunch of melons? Nothing? Really? Okay. Uh, so let's put the earthen crystal boots, as well as the feather. There we go. There's some bees. Perfect. So we're going to need more. There's a ton of taint in there, sadly. That's okay. Um, let's put some iron. Wow, I just tossed it all. Oh well, we have plenty of it, so it's no biggie. There we go. And now we should actually connect that. Wait, I don't like breaking that when there's stuff in them. Oh, where's my pipes? Oh, they're right there. Kind of hard to see there. There we go. Fill that up with some V-Cent taint. Mm, one, two, three. There we go. I'll just get it out of the pipe so we don't waste any. And there we go. We got the Boots of Striding. Awesome. And they have a smelting value of 95. Wow. Research value of 10. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, what we can do with those is actually make the uh, other boots that we are looking at. The uh, Seven League Boots. We need another feather, and an er an air er er what's the name of it? Um, uh, Vapor's Crystal, that's it. Where's my ring? Oh, it's right there. Okay, why can't I fly? What's going on here? Oh, that's why, okay. I wasn't hitting it hard enough. That sounded funny. Okay, um, so let's get another feather. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, crap. Guess we're gonna have to go hunt for some chickens because we just used our last feather. That's okay. Um, I see wolves. I see a cow right next to our house, of course. Um, and a chicken. Come here. Come here. What? Did I not hit you? I thought I did. Oh, wow, you're strong. Oh, you little bugger. There we go. Two feathers, perfect. So we'll leave one just so we can uh, transmute some more later if we have to. And another one just for the uh, Thomic Infuser to make those boots. So let's put this one in here. And we need a uh, Vapor's Crystal. Cool, so now we have the resources we need to make the seven league boots, which apparently will make us jump higher. Even though it doesn't really matter, we have these, uh, or this ring here. I just like making the cool things like that. So, don't hate. I want to know how high they actually make you jump, and if they're actually worth it. So let's go to the infuser again. And I just remember we're going to need more vis. Lots and lots of vis, okay. 
depleted crystal, I'll take that. Smelting value four, nothing really. Um, where's that feather? There it is. So, that's what we need, and now what we have to do is connect this with, uh, oops, okay, let's can't, we can't do that, we don't have enough. Should probably make a couple more of these conduits. Um, so what do we want to put in here? Hmm. Can put a bunch of copper in there. Let's put 15 copper ore. Okay, so the taint is going that way and the vis is going that way. <laughs> Sweetness. So it's going to need a lot of it, actually. And we don't have enough. So let's actually break that. And uh, all the taint will stay in there. That's okay. Um... Mmm, these crystals? No. What can we throw in here that we won't need? How about some... Wait, wait. wonder how much uh, smelting value charcoal has. Let's check. It has a smelting value of two. Awesome. So let's toss all of this charcoal in here. All of it. Every last piece. And hopefully we can get enough V's out of that to... Uh, suffice to make these boots. We might as well toss this other piece of uh, forbidden all or this theory in here. Quicksilver core. I have no idea what that is to be honest. We have a 23% chance and a 21 just like the last one so that's cool. Might take a while. This is almost done. Then I'll go show you guys what I have for the storage room so far and uh, yeah we might actually finish it up this episode off screen of course because we're obviously running out of time. And there we go. Seven league boots. Smelting value of 104 and research value of 12. Cool. Let's stack those. So let's put these on, see what they do. Oops. There we go. Oh, hello, we can run faster now. Whoa, okay. Yeah, they actually do make you jump pretty high. I like it. Equivalent exchange is obviously cheap, right? But, you know. I wonder if I don't have my ring if I'll take damage from jumping. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> but it does make us run faster, so that's cool. I think. Let's see. Yes, definitely. And if we sprint, it's even faster. Cool. And we can just jump around. I like this, actually. I really do. Even though we do have the Swift Wolf rending, Swift Wolf's rending gale, I like this just as much, to be honest. It's great. And, uh, it doesn't have an EMC value, so we won't be able to actually uh, duplicate it, which is good. I don't think that's uh, really fair. And I don't think I will be using a lot of equivalent exchanges episode or this world because uh, I just find it cheap. But we don't we don't have enough uh, oomph in the boots to get out of here, so we're gonna have to fly up there. We'll have to make a ladder or something. But yeah, that's what I have so far. Just a little hole and then a room. And I'm going to have a uh, large chest, regular old large chest, right here in the middle. and Or maybe, I'm not really sure yet. But uh, something in the middle of the room or off to the back here that will put all the items that we want to be sorted in. And uh, all the chests will be along this wall and that wall. That's plenty of room for chests, I'd say. Plus we can stack them up on, t uh, on top of each other kind of thing. But we have caves around here, so it's kind of annoying to build. But that's alright, we, uh, we can work around it, so... That's what I have so far. I'm going to go check on the time for the video. I'm, I have a feeling it's really, really high, and uh, it's going to be fun to edit. So, I'll be right back. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> We're at 48 minutes now, so uh, I think I'm going to have to ed end the episode here. So, uh, in the next one, we will hopefully get to uh, maybe... Uh, I wonder... Wait. Before we end it here, I'm going to check on this uh, new item here. And we have two good, and uh, that's good or two positive three sweet two more um, in the next episode I'm hoping to get that uh, room finished as well as do some farming of some sort maybe uh, automatic farming I'm hoping to do some automatic farm that would be really fun just because uh, it'll give us a lot of uh, EMC as well as paper and stuff if we make a um, a uh, um, um, sugar cane or reed farm whatever you want to call them so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the episode we will see you in the next one bye bye and, by the way, I friggin' love these boots. They're so fun. I've been running around jumping in these for, like, ages now. <laughs> Alright, peace out. Of oh, and one more thing. Sorry, I know I'm making, like, five outros here, but when I run up blocks, it goes up them automatically, and that is friggin' amazing. I did not know that.
I am in love with these boots. Watch, I can probably go right up this thing, can't I? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Peace out.